Hello everyone, welcome back to the Motorsport Report. This episode we'll be discussing all the action from the Repco Bathurst 12 Hour. The 21st running of the Repco Bathurst 12 Hour started under safety car conditions and of course in pure darkness like it always does. Um, now in terms of safety car, I don't have a huge issue as you know they use two laps to um, warm up the tyres and brakes, however they started in a single file line and I'd uh, rather prefer them start in double file line but uh, that's just me. But Anyway, the race got off fairly uh, well, um, fairly cleanly, um, not a lot of uh, drama happened. Um, whole sitting BMW getting off to a decent start, uh, managed to create a gap early on uh, from the national storage 888 Mercedes. Uh, the battle between number 32 and 888 lasted for numerous hours, however, um, with them battling hard, it did put Porsche team... Manti EMA in a great position to capitalize and take the early lead which they managed to hold for a majority of the race. The first safety car of the day was brought out three hours into the race as the 701 Vortex in the hands of Julian Bolo in the Invitational class lost control and got trapped into the sand trap on top of the Mc of McPhillamy. And the second Manti Porsche car, which is actually running under the Shell V-Power Mosport Park banner, uh, also got stuck at McPhillamy after a small incident with Glenn Wood in the Mercedes, as they were both challenging for the Pro-Am class. Uh, luckily, Yasser Shahin, who was driving at the time, was able to get back out, and oh boy, did they. Now, despite grabbing pole on Saturday after a brilliant lap and getting a great start in the race, it unfortunately ended in pure heartbreak for Team WRT third number 32 BMW as Charles Wurtz binned it trying to overtake a benchmarker in the GT4 class. Now, unfortunately, lack of patience uh, ultimately ruined their day as the Gianetta had nowhere to go as they were literally right up against the left-hand wall. And, you know, it's a very tight part of the track, uh, turn three and four. And uh, we're, we're luckily, right, luckily Verts walked away cleanly and unscathed. Um, the car, not so much. However, luckily we also didn't get a massive pile-up like we did in the 2005 Bathurst 1000 uh, when Greg Murphy and Marcus Ambrose famously came together at the exact same corner. And we all know how that went. Now, again, this worked in the Manti 912 Porsche's favour um, as Vanthor led from the restart and created a gap straight away uh, on, on uh, Valentino Rossi, who was actually now in the lonely Team WRT BMW. However, during the safety car, with about 5 hours and 20 minutes to go, the heavens opened up. And oh boy, did they open. Um, a lot of teams gambled to stay on the slicks while teams played with the wets, um, played safe with the wets. Uh, now, the tricky part of the mountain, uh, especially for newcomers, is that uh, just because it's raining in one part of the track doesn't mean it's raining in the other part. It might be completely dry on the other half. And that is sort of what happened here the, uh, this weekend. Um... And, uh, yeah, so teams had to gamble whether or not it was worth staying on slicks or gambling to wets. And uh, Cam Waters in the 222 STM Mercedes was one of the teams that gambled for slicks, which uh, ultimately turned out to be very risky and uh, obviously didn't pay off. They he immediately went in straight after. Uh, as the top of the mountain was just severely wet, it was just aquaplaning all the way from McPhillamy down to the very bottom. Uh, luckily, he's a very talented driver. Otherwise, uh, he probably would have found the fence like some drivers um, that we saw this weekend. And just to, you know, add it a bit, make it a bit extra, uh, we had some lightning that made appearance. Now, during this time, the 912 Manti Porsche, who was leading at the time, received a drive through penalty for not obeying the minimum pit time rule. 
Um, so basically, whoever's new, um, who haven't heard this rule before, the new pit stop rule for 2024 uh, for the Bathurst 12 hour is that the car is required to stay in the pit bay for a minimum of 85 seconds. And uh, now I've got very mixed feelings. Personally, I don't like the rule and many others have also said they don't like it um, as it does actually uh, ruin strategy for the teams. Like um, they're very restricted with it, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, but personally, I, don't, I think it's a no-go. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I'm eager to find out. Do you agree with the ruling change? Anyway, that uh, penalty didn't matter anyway, because Matt Campbell in the 912 Porsche climbed from ninth back up to the lead once again, which no one could take from them. They were just gone. They, were, they had so much pace this weekend, it's crazy. And they weren't even the fastest car on Saturday, but they ended up being the fastest car in the race. Um, the amount of fast laps they set is just crazy. And uh, during the final three and a half hours, we saw plenty of prangs, battles, and spins, especially uh, one very close call from uh, when Triple Eight driver Greener spun at the end of the chase. And luckily, um, he evaded. Uh, Carnage, I should say, uh, and was able to get back into the race and pretend nothing happened. But my my God, he he got lucky. Um, Vanderlyn actually in the in the Audi actually had to go on the grass just to evade him. Uh, it was very awkward. But that's the thing with motor racing. That's the thing with wet stuff happens. Um, but luckily, nothing happened, and he was able to get back into the race quite cleanly. And, uh, but, however, uh, despite all the incredible action the 12-hour race had given us, it all went down to the final 30 minutes, as the final safety car was deployed as the 701 Vortex yet again brought out the, the safety car, as it spun at turn two and got stuck at the curb, on the curb. Got stuck on the curb. You can't park there, mate. Just saying ultimately turns a 12-hour endurance race into a 30-minute sprint. The cars were battered and bruised, but they still put on a show in those final 30 minutes. However, no one could get ahead of Matt Campbell in the 912 Porsche, and after 12 hours of racing, Campbell was able to bring the Manti EMA Porsche home to win the 2024 Repco Bathurst 12-hour. Now, this was actually his second endurance win for the 2024 season um, as he won the uh, Daytona 24-hour a couple weeks prior with Penske after an incredible performance. And uh, he proved himself once again why he deserves that Porsche factory drive. And uh, I'll tell you what, he's a bright, he's an up-and-comer. He is definitely a legend of the sport, that's for sure. The things he's been able to do in that Porsche is crazy. And uh, also, Manti uh, claimed the win for Pro-Am as well as Pro uh, with their Shell V-Power Motorsport Park entry in the hands of uh, those guys. So let's get into the results and uh, see who did well in what class. So after all that being said, let's have a look at the top three of each class. There's a total of five classes, uh, starting off with Pro Class, uh, which is the overall winners. Uh, in first place, as I said, we've got the 912 Mant I EMA Porsche in the hands of Campbell, um, Gouven, and Van Thor. In second place, we've got Sun Energy 1 in the Mercedes, which is driven by Habu, Gunon, and Stolls. Also, I do apologize if I mispronounce any of these names. Uh, do bear with me. Um, see how we go. Uh, in third place, uh, from Washit Team MPC in the Audi, was uh, Taubert. Haas and Vandalin, after a brilliant drive from those guys. Uh, in the Pro-Am class, for first place, we've got uh, Shell V-Power Motorsport Park Manti Porsche uh, with Shahin, Picarello and King behind the wheel of those cars, of that car. Uh, second place, Heart of Racing by SBS in the Mercedes. We've got Ribieras, Gunn and James. And in third place, we've got the second Triple Eight entry, um, the Triple Eight GMR Merc, uh, with the Wink Up Jordan Love and Ibrahim, uh, rounding up the three. Now they were leading, actually. I want to point out they were leading um, uh, the race 
the Pro Am class in the back end. Unfortunately, uh, they were a bit battered and bruised, and their splitter didn't want to play. So, unfortunately, they kept falling back. But uh, luckily, uh, fourth place was a couple of laps down, so they safely were in third. Uh, now we're having a look at the silver class. Uh, in first place, we've got Wall Racing with their Lambo. Uh, we've got Tony Delberto, Grant Denyer, David Wall, and Dietz uh, winning that class after a stellar drive. Uh, second place, we've got Valmont Racing in their Audi with Yulden, Shills, and Zalus and uh, Piers as well. Uh, third place, we've got uh, Superbarn in their Mercedes. We've got Russell, Webb, and J&T uh, Kunda Uris. I do apologize if I mispronounce that. Don't at me. Uh, in the GT4 class, we've got Prestige winning, uh, or Prestige Ivaco winning in their Mercedes with Griffith, um, here we go, <laughs> uh, Christo Dulio and, uh, Bilski. Uh, second place, we've got Method Motorsport in their McLarens. Actually, they finished second and third. So in second place, we've got Heyman, McLean, and uh, Schultz. In second and third, we've got Flack, uh, Mostert, and Brian. Um, they did very well in the GT class. They were leading a good chunk of it as well. Invitational, we've got the uh, T2 Racing in the IRC GT. Uh, we've got uh, Siberia Zuloi. I screwed that up again. Um, Siberia Zuli, uh, Jelesen, and Hargrievs. Second place, we got uh, Tech Work Motorsport in the IRC GT. Uh, Studded, Tracy, Emery, and Twig in that one. And uh, third place for Superglass Racing, which was Matt Stone Racing's entry in the uh, class is in their IRC GT, is Nick Perkat, uh, Hill, and uh, Hollinger. Uh, rounding up the podium for that class. So after another stellar year in the Repco Bathurst 12 hour, um, I, I personally loved it. It was a fantastic race. I love that the reins opened up halfway through to create an even bigger race. Um, but uh, yeah, massive um, shout out to all those winners got uh, there, especially Matt Campbell and his team at Manti um, EMA. They did very well. Uh, did, despite having penalties and stuff like that, they still managed to win and prove to them why Porsche is the best. I may or may not be a Porsche supporter. Just saying. But uh, let me know if you enjoyed this Repco Bathurst 12 hour. Let me know if you're happy with the results or you were, or uh, your favourite driver didn't win or anything like that. Um, and also be sure to subscribe as well for more content like this. Uh, also, we'll be doing, we've also got our Let's Talk Supercars and F1 debrief, which will be coming up soon, and um, MotoGP as well. And also, before I wrap this up, if you can see on my board, this is fairly recent, because um, uh, if you don't know, weeknights uh, we stream on uh, TikTok, on our TikTok account, which is, you can actually look at in the description below. Uh, we stream weeknights from 7.30 p.m. Uh, Australian Central Daylight Time. Um, and as you can see here, let me go grab it. Ignore that. We've got, uh, Doug, uh, who is actually our first subscriber. So, um, big shout out to him over on TikTok. So basically what we do, ignore that again, is, um, I have a board when I stream similar to this, uh, where if you send a gift, your name will appear for that stream. But if you subscribe, your name will stay there for the duration of your subscription and also will be featured in the YouTube videos in the future. So if you want to get your name up uh, on the board, on the Legends board, as I call it, on TikTok and YouTube, be sure to check that out. Subscribe when I'm live or gift and whatnot. And uh, feel free to follow and check that stuff out. Uh, normally, we just do iRacing and stuff like that. So a lot of fun. Um, also, I love talking to you guys. You guys are awesome. And I uh, hope to see you guys there one day. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video or pod. If you're listening on Spotify, you can reach us on our social socials or in the description below um, as well. And uh, stay tuned for next week when we will be doing a uh, our Bathurst review, which will be a live stream. Uh, but before we do that, our Bathurst weekend preview will be out tom or tomorrow. Um, and uh, for reference, that was filmed last week uh, when we did a live, because we do live streams on TikTok. Um, I should point that out. We do our live stream 
pods on TikTok, which then get turned into uh, episodes on YouTube and Spotify. So if you do want to join in the conversation, do check out a TikTok. Tick TikTok. What's a TikTok? A TikTok. Uh, do join our TikTok if you want to join the conversation for those uh, events. And uh, that's where we're pretty much online majority of the time. So that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, catch you next time. Bye for now.